I'm Laura, I'm studying psychology with counselling skills at University of Aberdeen and I'm a general assistant for the Grampian Hospitals Art Trust. I've been really enjoying my studies and I've gotten all of these ideas about where I want to take my career and what I want to get involved with but the further I was getting in that process I realised I don't actually have much experience and I was getting worried about, well, when I'm actually in one of these job roles, am I going to enjoy it? So it was really important for me to get out into the world a little bit and get some hands on experience. So that was my main reason. I just thought it was a really good opportunity because paid internships don't come up that often. And also something that included the whole of, of GA as well. Um, usually if we've had interns, they're just in the gallery or they're just in collections and they're very kind of specific um, and opportunities to get an experience of what it's like working for an arts and health organisation. You know, a comprehensive view of that is quite rare. And so that really appealed to us as well to be able to offer that to students. I just submitted my CV and cover letter and I heard back pretty fast and um, I came in for an interview. And when I came in, it felt, it just felt like we were getting to know each other and we followed, you know, a set list of questions, but between it, we were just chatting about, you know, why we'd both be good for each other almost. Just kind of finding out what we're interested in, what they would like from an intern and what I wanted to get out of it. She had the art side of it. She had her own practice. She had the kind of um, sort of psychology stuff to do with art room. Um, she'd had experience in working, you know, with an art show and hanging work. Um, so there was all those kind of tick boxes, whereas maybe some of the other students, although they were kind of great candidates. They were more specific to one area rather than to the whole of GAT. And we just felt like that Laura would be the person that would benefit from that really broad range of um, experience in all the areas of what we do. I did a whole variety of things. I was doing things in this room with the exhibitions and like installing. I did a bit of painting here, <laughs> same in the small gallery. A lot of practical skills. I learned how to use the drill, <laughs> which was fun. And then of course the main one was art room. So that's where I'm working with patients or people who used to be patients and you're just hanging out with people and just doing a little bit of artwork with them and honestly you're just there to chat with them and just have a conversation with them and just I feel like it's a nice chance for them to feel like real people again and not like patients so yeah um that was a big part of it that was the part that I was like most nervous for because I feel like it can be quite intense but it was the most rewarding as well. Literally every single week I was doing at least one thing that was new. Also the working with people I think my interpersonal skills was something I really wanted to work on and I know because I'm doing psychology and the route I want to go down I want to be working with people but it was so important for me to actually do it because you know you're in your own circles at home and like you're speaking to the same people all the time and I was like I need to be able to speak with different kinds of people. I mean I think it's been really good for the team because um, we're always doing our own thing so when we have um, a project that we can all work on together and collaborate that's really good because you get to spend more time with your colleagues and then I also just think as well the feedback that we got from the artists that were working uh, with Laura. We've had nothing but high praise <laughs> and recommendations. We should take her on as a covered artist, <laughs> which is brilliant. Um, so yeah, yeah, we're gonna take it on as a covered artist for Art Room as well, which is really good. I've come out with a job. <laughs> yeah, um, that's been a really great part because I was even considering during it, I was like, oh, I might volunteer or I just, I don't want to just stop there. But yeah, that's been, one of the best parts about it. Before the meeting, I was thinking of a perfect scenario in my head and I was like, if I could be a cover artist and keep working a little bit longer in the art room, that'd be amazing. I feel so much more confident now in my skills and what I can bring to jobs. I think before, again, I had all of those great ideas, but I felt so unsure, would I actually fit into this kind of thing? Would I be good at it? But I feel like I've learned so much from this. And also everyone's been very accommodating and it's like tailored the experience to my interest, which I just find so like, that's such a privilege and I've been able to get like everything I wanted out of it.